Hi, good morning Pollard. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 26th of October 2023. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name, for the record please? My full name is Pollard Stain. Alright Pollard, could you please confirm your candidate number? Yes. My candidate number is 4214123455. Fine. Are you taking this test as a nurse? Yes, I am. Okay. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's move on to the warm-up session. The warm-up questions are not assessed, and are a chance for us, to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right, Mihira. Tell me about your nursing experience and background. I have been a registered nurse for 10 years, specializing in pediatric care. I've worked in both general pediatric wards and the neonatal intensive care unit, providing critical care to young patients and honing my skills in pediatric nursing. Describe a challenging patient case you've encountered and how you handled it. One particularly challenging case involved a premature infant with respiratory distress. I swiftly initiated oxygen therapy, closely monitored vital signs, and coordinated with the neonatologist to adjust the treatment plan, resulting in a successful recovery and discharge. Can you explain the importance of effective communication in nursing? Effective communication in nursing is paramount for ensuring patient safety and positive outcomes. It allows for accurate information exchange among the healthcare team, timely responses to patient needs, and building trust with patients and their families. How do you stay updated on the latest nursing practices and guidelines? I stay current by attending nursing conferences, participating in online courses, and regularly reviewing medical journals. Additionally, I'm an active member of our hospital's nursing education committee, where we continuously update our practices in line with the latest evidence-based guidelines. Tell me about a time when you had to work as part of a multidisciplinary team. I frequently collaborate with other healthcare professionals, and a memorable instance was when I worked with physicians, physical therapists, and dietitians to develop a comprehensive care plan for a patient with complex post-surgical needs. Our teamwork ensured a holistic approach to the patient's recovery and improve their quality of life. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahira. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about, and you can make notes on the role playing card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you, Mahira. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good morning. My name is Pollard Stain. I'm one of the registered nurses working in this emergency department. How can I help you today? Hi, Pollard. I was in a hurry and accidentally tore my right thumbnail. I'm experiencing excruciating pain and bleeding. I'm quite anxious and don't know what to do. I'm truly sorry to hear that you're in such distress. But rest assured, we'll take care of you. Okay, good to hear. Could you kindly share your name and age with me? My name is Mahira and I'm 28 years of age. Thank you. Could you please explain what happened and how the injury occurred? Certainly. I was meticulously working on an intricate art project, using various sharp tools, to create delicate designs. My full attention was on the canvas, when, in a moment of carelessness, I accidentally ripped my thumb's nail, while adjusting one of the tools. A sharp jolt of pain, and a closer inspection revealed that, my thumb's nail was torn. I can only imagine, how shocking and painful, that must have been for you. Please try to stay calm. I will conduct a thorough examination and provide the necessary care. Mihira, may I have your permission to examine the wound? Oh, sure. You may please. Thank you for your cooperation. I've conducted a comprehensive examination and I want to assure you that there's no need to worry. The situation is quite reassuring as there is no evidence of damage or tearing to the nail bed. The only concern right now is, the appearance of the wound, due to the missing nail, but apart from that, there's no cause for alarm. The nail bed is currently in excellent health, free from any cuts or damage. That's a relief. So, what's the next step? First, let's take care of those unattached nail remnants, to prevent any risk of infection. I'll handle that for you with care. Once that's done, we'll make sure to thoroughly clean the area, to minimize any potential complications. Your well-being is my priority, and we'll get through this together. Nurse, will my injured nail look normal again? Is there any permanent damage? I can see that, you're understandably concerned about the regrowth of your nail. However, in your situation, there's truly no need for worry, as your nail bed remains perfectly healthy. Typically, nails regenerate completely over a period of three to six months, growing at an average rate of around 0.13 inches per month. You can rest assured that your nail will regrow, returning to its natural, normal appearance. That's good to hear. Is there anything else I should do to take care of it? Certainly, Mihira. Ensuring the best conditions for healing is crucial. To facilitate the healing process, Maintain the nail bed in a clean and dry state. You can gently apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly to keep the area moisturized, which aids in the regeneration of your nail. Additionally, it's advisable to cover the area with an adhesive bandage to provide protection against potential infections and any additional harm. Mihira, your commitment to these steps will contribute significantly to a smooth and successful recovery. Okay, I'll do that. Is there anything I should watch out for? Absolutely Mihira, vigilance is essential. While you're on the path to recovery, it's vital to be aware of any potential signs of infection. Keep an eye out for any increased warmth, redness, persistent pain, tenderness, or swelling around the nail area. These could be early indicators of an infection. In the event you observe any of these symptoms, it's crucial to take swift action. Seeking prompt medical attention is the safest course of action to ensure that any potential infection is addressed by a healthcare professional. Your well-being is paramount and timely intervention is the best approach. However Mihira, I'm confident that, with proper care, your injured nail should heal just fine. Thank you so much, Nurse Pollard. I appreciate your help and reassurance. You're very welcome, Mihira. I'm here to help and I'm glad I could provide you with the information you need. If you have any more questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask. Take good care of your thumb, and it should heal well.
Sure, I will. That is the end of your oat speaking role play. All the best. Thank you, Mihir. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.